welcome speaker. I want to also say I support the motion, but I want to move some amendments at the end. First, I'm one of those who led the process to have the National Audit Act. Honorable members, whoever is going to stand, you either make the amendment only. We are doing what we are constitutionally supposed to do. That's true. So, Madam Speaker, uh, one, in most countries, including South Africa, an auditor general works for a minimum one term, five years. However, I want to congratulate John Mwanga, an auditor general, for having served for this entire time without having a crisis. Because most of the auditor generals in most countries have been held for corruption, for theft, because they audit the national budget. The entire money is in their hands. And they are treated even more than the chief justice of any country in remuneration. Madam Speaker, the amendment I want to move. One, we have not heard about a handshake because the auditor general has worked, is going. I have not heard about what are we paying him as is going. You mentioned how much do you so, want us to pay uh, him uh, so as a handshake. Yeah, Madam Speaker, I want to make a, on that one that I'm going to make an amendment on the handshake, but also two, supposing you employed an auditor general who stays, who doesn't reach the 60 years, how do you pay him? Because I can come and work for only one week because I'm an auditor general, I come and I benefit from the law. We should also put a minimum of how many years you must work before you qualify for that benefit. Number three, Mrs. Madam Speaker. Let, let's move systematically. I'm, I'm going to come, Madam. I want to put the cases, then I come one by one. Madam Speaker, there are also cases if a notary general has worked, supposing of ill health and lives, what do we do? In most cases now, like somebody, you know, in our Bible, the moment you are 70 years, you have lived your useful life. And I'm not very sure, I'm not saying I'm going to die tomorrow. That lifetime payment may not even take more than 10 years. I would suggest that in those who may not want it, may have to compute it and get it uh, in advance because he's not so sure, maybe for 10 years, so that he, he lives and remains with the little in his pocket. So, Madam Speaker, on the first one, the handshake, I want to move an amendment that we give John Mwanga. Uh, we I, give the Auditor General. No, no, for this one, because this is specific. Uh, why we are saying John Mwanga? Because there will be another one, the handshake will be different. It will be different. This one is going to be because he has served for 20, what? 20 years. So I want to say that for John Mwanga, we give him for his handshake to go home 500 current points. The justification is that we have decided that every year 500, that is 1 billion shilling. So, uh, uh, Senator so help me in the division. I'm aiming at getting. Uh, 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 you speak. 1,000 is equal to 20 million. 10,000 will be. 10,000, huh? I want you to get 1 billion. So, uh, thank you very much, Senator, for making the argument. So I want to guess that we give John Mwanga on his summit as a handshake 50,000 carriage point, which is equivalent to currently 1 billion shilling, so that every year where he has worked, he has taken 50 million shillings as his handshake. That's number one. Number two, for an auditor to qualify. Uh, I want to make those... Are you getting what... Honorable Nathan is saying, 